Hello, my name is Declan McLean. Welcome to another edition of Plugin of the Week. We are here in what we call the hub at our second facility in London, the wonderful Point Blank. I'm joined by one of our most familiar faces, I reckon, on our channels, <laughs> JC Concato, a favourite of the audience. And uh, no. we're going to give, show you guys a new plug. Is it new? We're going to show you well, guys no, it's a, quite an affordable yeah, plugin. Yeah, quite yeah. an affordable plugin. I mean, I thought we've got this new series with. Uh, plugin of the week, so yeah. I thought let's try to have a wide range of plugin. And this one I had it free. Uh, it's called basically Audio. Uh, it's from Audio Thing, yeah. and the plugin is Valve Filter VF1. VF1. Uh, so as its name Valve Filter implies, it's a filter, very simple filter, yeah. high pass, low pass. But um, yes, check. You may want to check. I mean, I'm on the website. Can we check the, the website? Uh, so with the, they've got few products that. Quite interesting, quirky little plugins, really, uh, yeah. from vinyl strip to valve exciter, uh, little speakers, drum machine analog, and mini beat, and hand clapper. Uh, one of the old f- boss. The old boss, indeed. Uh, this one is great for the kind of eight beats, yeah. Nintendo type of you know sound. So yeah, check it out. And uh, the valve filter is only twenty five euros. Uh, they do also a lot of uh, offer where you share on the you share something yeah. on your social media and you get it for free, that's how I got mine. Yeah. Uh, and also sometimes they come with um, computer music or one of the magazines. Your favorite of mine, yes. So, <laughs> so here it is, so it is the filter and uh, uh, here it is, so very, very basic, simple interface. Yeah. Um, it has, I mean the part that is, you're interested, we're interested in is that part, that's your typical filter, it has a cutoff, uh, a, ba- uh, a resonance, and it has a low pass or high pass filter. So nothing fancy, just two type of filters, but it sounds mm-hmm. really nice. Um, and also it has that part, which is really interesting, is the valve part. So it has a drive, which sounds really nice, just as a drive. Even by putting it on zero, we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll have a and pretty when the, sun, Even when the cutoff is open completely, it's still nice. It's still yeah. nice, it's there, you know, it gives a bit of harmonics, and we've yeah. talked about those. Absolutely. Many, many times. And you can learn more about it on our courses. Ab- absolutely. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you, you switch it on and off here. And here you've got a triad and a pentode, and it's, it's based on um, the way the valve is wired. Mm-hmm. So it gives you, depending on how it is, it gives you the second or the third harmonics. Right. That's kind of the idea. So you second is more sound. even. Second more, more even, m- more bright. More pleasing, yeah. in a way. Like more musical. Odd. That's how it's yeah, known. Exactly, and yeah. odd it's a bit more abstract and a bit more harsh. Distortion-y. Yeah. D- yeah, exactly. And then the bias here is something to do... I've read the manual. Uh, and it's <laughs> apparently it's how it draws the power in needle when it's needle the valve. So again, it okay. changes the... It changes slightly the tone of it. You just have to play with it really at the end of the day and, and play by here. Mm-hmm. But it's a really nice sounding plugin. So, I mean, typically it's a filter that you would find on synth and stuff. But uh, So I wanted... I wasn't working on this project and I needed to come up with something in the chorus that was a bit empty. And, and I thought, I could use the original guitar part, but it didn't do much to me, this guitar part. I was like, it's not really in line with... You know. It was just not doing what I wanted. Uh, so, I thought, let's try to see if we can bring it a little bit as a texture in sure. the track. Uh, so I ended up putting a noise gate, which is triggered by uh, by a kind of LFO. I've triggered it, the noise gate. I know that that's an LFO guitar. I've done a lot of uh, weird guitar work on this track. <laughs> uh, that's it. So that is the trigger. It's just a, I probably have an eighth or sixteenth, whatever. Uh, so that's the trigger going into the gate, and then as soon as you put the filter. So let's, let's have it open with no, no gain. And you see straight away as soon as you put the drive on. Yeah. The sound, I mean, is already a little bit better. Uh, so just just as a drive, it's actually a really nice drive. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. So try you that can on hear, the you drums. You can hear that, yeah. yeah. yeah you know, I can try it. There's something really nice about it. So I mean, try it on drums, vocal, synth, whatever. I think it's worth it, just even without the filter itself. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the filter. I really like the resonance. 
self oscillates pretty early. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of the harshness, the kind of in your face sound that some of the hardware filter from the 90s, those uh, Sherman. The filter filters, banks, filter yeah, yeah. Do you remember them? Yes, I do. I mean, they were super hard yeah. in a nice way, you know. And uh, I think it reminds me a little bit of that in the texture, just a little bit. And you see, as soon as you put that in the track, uh, And what I ended up doing is automating it in the mix. And have it just as a texture, and sometimes it would come up, sometimes you would hear it, sometimes you wouldn't. You wouldn't really know it's a guitar, whatever it was. It was just a, a nice electronic texture, if you like. Yeah. So, yeah. So that, there you go. that's my plugin of the week. And how much is it again? 25? 25 euros. And sometimes you can get on a free offer too. You can get free offers. Uh, try some stuff every every so often. Like last time they were giving away the, the speaker once up. I got it as well. And yeah. You know, and uh, and they're just interesting plugins. They're just you know really simple. They don't take much CPU, so you can have it on yeah. on a lot of stuff. I've used them on synth as well. Where you know sometimes somebody sends you a mix to do and you're feeling the synth is a bit not quite working and you're like I could reprogram it and change my own and bring the sound myself or can I fix it and get on <laughs> instead yeah. of me replaying it, you know. <laughs> Anything to be a bit quicker. For sure. I mean, a lot of times the humble filter goes overlooked as a great technique, a great problem solver. Yeah, yeah. People always reach for more exotic plugins for us. You know. I, I, I totally agree. And uh, sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes I've done even filter stuff in parallel. So like, for example, drums. Mm -hmm. I've put drums, I mean, in that filter I've done it once where I've put the drums, drive them, driven them quite a fair bit in parallel with a bit of filter to give it a texture and then have the and bring it in into as a parallel the same way you do parallel compression or, or, or whatever and, yeah. it, and it can work really great as well to thicken up sounds when they're a bit too thin and things like that yeah nice one so there you go audio thing vf1 a very nice valve emulation filter plugin so make sure you check that one out if you got anything you want us to look at make sure you put it in those comments below and uh, we'll be back soon with another uh, plugin of the week so we'll see you then cheers <laughs>